Yo, what's up, people? This is Papa Bail, and welcome to the channel. We're just taking a look at the permanent magnet motor that I'm working on. And right now, we're using a levitation disc with a bearing in it. And it's working pretty well. The top disc is the disc that we're measuring. But the bottom disc is moving with it because of the way the magnets are set up. But it has a bearing that's 80% more efficient than the bearings that are in the disc in the top. So if you ask me, that's okay. That can happen because it's not really... I mean, it is, but... I mean, if we do the math, it's going to be less than... You know, not having it. Having it be the friction of... Uh, resting on something and spinning at the same time. So what's going on here is I spin it with my finger and it's it's moving more freely I believe than it has ever since I built it yesterday. <laughs> Let me explain the ceramic magnets here we got a booster that's pushing. This is pulling, pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling, pushing. And those are all pushing. And right now it looks like the top one is actually moving the bottom one, which is, I think, how it works to begin with. But the bottom one looks like it's trying to stop. See, this is where the it gets like just the resistance. I can feel that. So we'll whip it. We'll give it a good whip. And you see the bottom disc is moving along with the top disc because I have uh, 1.26 inch round magnets spaced so that they fit in between the magnets on the top one. And they kind of interlock. Do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that. We're just testing it out. And then we'll take, because there's, there's one of those round ones in between the base magnet and the big magnet on the outside, there's a little round one. We'll move that to the bottom disc, and then maybe it'll be able to float. <laughs> but I've, I also figured since it's pretty heavy, we ought to have the, the pole in the middle be really stable, or as stable as we can make it. See, that's moving quite well, I think. I did whip it pretty hard, though. I think I'm, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take the round magnets from in between them. There's only one that doesn't have one. And that, I don't know. We'll see if, it, uh, if they even need all of them. Then I might glue them down just so it's secure. I think I'm gonna actually have to glue them down. Because having the two facing the same way, that close to one another, they're gonna wanna flip over unless you glue them down. Now, if I took the flange off of the base here 
that's holding the pole steady and I put the disc flat on the, on the base then it wouldn't spin and we'd be able to see if the levitation is true and if it is true if it will allow it to spin without everything falling apart <laughs> but it spins well like this Heck is that sound? Oh, it's gotta be one of the long magnets. And I think the north south, north south with the rings here works wonders. And it's really easy to do. You just they just do it themselves basically. <coughs> All right, so that's that. <laughs> I think it works pretty well. Um, just for the first test, I'm sure we're going to be able to make things that work better. But uh, that was pretty neat to see. And we're going to like add some more stuff. Or we're going to change it up a little bit. So have a good night. Please subscribe and stay tuned. Peace out.